Join me as over the next 90 days, I'll be testing a strategy that I've put together to grow my YouTube channel. I've been studying some of the biggest YouTubers on the planet, taking notes and testing a variety of things. And I have what I believe is the cheat code to grow a YouTube channel. Now that I've seen some minor successes, I'm gonna compile the things that have worked along with new things that I've been learning to see how it works over the course of the next 90 days. Be sure to stay till the end of the video because I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I'm gonna be doing to grow my YouTube channel. Welcome to Travel with Smart Sites. My name is Brian, and although this channel is primarily based on travel and smart site sales, I wanted to document and share countless hours of research I've been documenting on how to grow a YouTube channel. Now, I'll be basing this channel's success based off four different levels. Bad, okay, good, and great. If I get less subscribers than I have now, that would be bad and considered a fail. If I double the subscribers that I have now, that would be okay because getting what took a year and a half in 90 days wouldn't be too shabby. If I triple the subscribers I have now, that would be good because now I have a sustainable way to grow my channel in a reasonable amount of time. And finally, if I get a thousand or more subscribers in the next 90 days, that would be considered great because According to vidIQ, it takes about 15 months to gain 1,000 or more subscribers on a new YouTube channel. And gaining 1,000 subscribers over the course of the next 90 days may not sound like a lot due to the fact that some people go viral seemingly overnight, but 1,000 subscribers in 90 days is actually pretty good when you think about the math that vidIQ has found over the course of all the YouTubers on average. Now the reason I haven't reached 1,000 subscribers yet is actually simple. It's because I haven't been consistent. With me not posting for several months at a time, as you can see, even over the past two months, I haven't posted a single video. I only have 41 videos posted over the course of the last year and a half due to me traveling and not taking it that seriously. And now that I feel like I've cracked the YouTube algorithm, I wanted to document the journey of what I'm gonna do over the course of the next 90 days. And I'll also be starting a second YouTube channel, which I'll be announcing at the end of the 90 days. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, I'm gonna share the exact steps and strategies I'll be using to grow my YouTube channel over the next 90 days. The first thing that I'll be doing is keyword research. On vidIQ, I'll be able to see what topics and titles have the highest search volume, as well as which ones have the lowest competition. This will help me figure out what people want to watch and the best things to title it to get the most people to watch it. The second thing you're going to want to do is craft a thumbnail. Think about it like this. When you end up going to search for a movie on Netflix, what's the thing that catches your attention before you watch the movie? I'm not talking about a movie you've already seen. I'm talking about when you're looking for something new. It's one of two things. It's the title and it's the imagery on the cover. So what you wanna make sure is that your thumbnail is engaging and you watch what other people in your industry are doing to see what works best. Another tip would be to create multiple thumbnails and split test them on YouTube. The third thing we're gonna to wanna to do is craft a proper intro. Now when crafting your intro, you only have a few seconds to keep the viewer's attention. Now what you wanna do is make sure that you let them know that they clicked on the right video. So you're gonna to wanna to inform them that, hey, this is exactly what you wanted. It matches the title and it matches the thumbnail. Otherwise, they might lose interest and click off if they feel like it's not what they originally wanted. This is gonna help with your retention and keeping them watching longer. Also, you might wanna add some suspense in there. This will get people to make sure that they wanna watch even later in the video. And that, again, is gonna help with viewer retention. The fourth thing, scripting. Once I decide on the video topics based off the data, I'll be writing informative and engaging scripts tailored to educate and entertain my audience. In reality, if you're just winging it, you're not gonna be able to give the most value to your viewers. On top of that, if you have a proper script, you'll be able to not just provide more value, but you'll also be able to stay on topic better as well. This is gonna help with keeping your retention as well as getting people to subscribe, like, and comment on your videos because you will have helped them out so much, whether you're entertaining them or you're educating them. I like to do a mix of both. Number five, video treatments and viewer retention strategies. Now I'll be making the video treatments match the scripts. 
by adding appealing visuals to keep the viewer's attention. Also, what I'll be doing is a variety of things. Like, as you notice, there's a couple of different cameras here. You're getting me from the front and from the side. Just going back and forth, panning in and out, all these different things will help keep viewers' attention. But you also want to add cool things like sounds and appealing visuals and a wide range of other things to keep the viewers' attention. As you notice, I asked you to stay till the end of the video so you can end up learning more on how I'm doing this. I didn't just give that in the beginning, but I informed you that I was going to. This is one of the strategies to help you get your viewers to last longer when watching a video. Number six, we have posting. After editing everything together, we'll be posting it with research titles, specific hashtags, and an optimized description, as well as an eye-catching thumbnail. Now, a lot of people end up thinking that all they have to do is post the video online and then it's gonna get views. Yes, that can work for some people and it may work a little bit, but doing other things to get people to watch your video, at least in the beginning, will really help boost it. So a few strategies that you can do that I'll actually mention right now, but I also will mention it in a later video at the end of the 90 days, will be if you make shorts, one, what can you do with a short? You can add a long form video link in the title. So you'll have the title and just below it, you'll be able to add a link where they can end up watching the long form of that short now this will help you get more views on your long-form video another thing you can do is be in Facebook groups that are relevant to what you're doing so whether it's travel whether it's food there's plenty of Facebook groups where you can ask people to check out your video and give you advice and that traction alone will help you end up getting some views immediately just so the YouTube algorithm can see hey there's people watching and engaging with it right away so these are just a couple of little strategies that you can do to get views I'm not gonna go over everything because I don't want to give all the secret sauce right now we got to save something for the end of the 90 days so if you're still watching this do me a favor and subscribe right now this way I'm able to show you exactly what else I did over the course of this next 90 days to grow my YouTube channel and finally last but not least number seven all you have to do is post consistently as you noticed in a year and a half I only posted 41 videos what we're gonna be doing is posting at least two to three times a week over the course of the next 90 days. That will be roughly eight to 12 videos per month that are long form. Then we're gonna post one short every single day, which will end up becoming 90 videos at the end. So just something as small as posting consistently can definitely increase your views, subscribers, likes, and comments. Now that's kind of common knowledge, but that's where a lot of people lack, including myself. There are several times where I would go months at a time without posting anything, including the last couple of months. So in reality, if we're talking about how much I actually posted, I barely posted one month of full content on my YouTube channel. Yeah, there's more long form videos than I probably would have posted in a month, but overall 41 videos, you could do that in a month all day long. Now, the point of what I'm telling you is consistency is going to be one of the secrets to being able to grow your YouTube channel. So that's why I'm adding it as number seven, because even if I'm making great content, if you're not consistent, YouTube will see that, your subscribers will see that, and you'll get penalized. People will become less interested in you and forgot why they subscribed in the first place. YouTube will stop pushing you out. And there's a couple other reasons that we'll mention in a later video. So I really appreciate you guys watching this video, but I have a little bit more to say. Now there are other parts to this strategy, like editing tricks, tone, personality, and more. But I'll be making another video at the end of the 90 days detailing additional strategies I used, as well as what worked best. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet so you can watch over the course of the next 90 days to see if I pass or fail.